Okay, uh, welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, this is going to be just a lot of updates. It's going to be a lot of previews for uh, upcoming Homebrew Wednesdays. We uh, we just got back uh, yesterday from our uh, our trip to St. Louis uh, through Indiana, and uh, we did the Arch and we did did Anheuser Busch, which uh, even if you're not a huge fan of their uh, of their beer, their process is, is really cool and and worth the tour. Um, we also went to Three Floyds in Indiana, which was awesome. Have some of their beer that we'll be trying here at some point. Actually, we're about what we're about to do is see the beer that we we picked up on this trip. Let's uh, flip the camera. Well, we have uh, a meat from Jared Heavy Rift Beer, and we have a couple IPAs from uh, Heavy Rift Beer that he made. Um, he was also gracious enough and. And here we have a Boulevard Smokestack Series uh, collaboration. And this is an English style ale, uh, 8.5, uh, 750 ml bottle. And uh, we'll be trying that one day very soon. And then we have uh, an Imperial Pilsner, um, also in their Smokestack Series. Um, this is 7.7%. Um, that one will be very interesting trying out. Um, you get these switched to the fridge because although we still have some ice in here and it's nice and cool it's uh, starting to give up the ghost here. So let's uh, see what else we got in this box. Um, we have Gumball Head from Three Floyds. Uh, I did have some of this. This was a very nice beer. Um, one of the ones we got we had with Jared at Heavy Rift Beer was Big Wave, which is from Kona, which is Hawaiian. Um, and this one right here, this Golden Ale, is really good. And uh, I'll probably do a little bit of a review on it, but uh, if you can get a hold of that, it is certainly worth it. Here is an Anchor Porter uh, out of San Francisco. Um, just found a really good beer store, and this was one I hadn't had, and so we're trying that. Um, Schlafly's is, uh, if you watch any heavy rift beer back in the day you know that uh, that is also a st louis uh, brewery this one is a raspberry half of bison uh, we'll see how that one is this is uh their apa a dry hopped ale um, i had some of this on tap it was very nice um this is the o'fallon um hemp hop rye it's also uh brewed in uh, St. Louis. Um, and here's a Boulevard, also uh, a St. Louis, and it is Bully Porter, and so we're also going to give that one a try. And so we have a fair number of beers. Um, also, Jared was gracious enough to uh, include in my care package a 20-pound uh, CO2 tank, so uh, we'll get that filled up soon. Not exactly sure why I'm shooting new footage of uh, the beer uh, let's just send in here bottle conditioning, but, uh, once again, we have this, uh, temperature controlled, so it's bottle conditioning at the right temperature. Um, I had a bottle that wasn't quite full that I went ahead and, uh, tried it a week, and it's not very carbonated. Um, I'm also not sure I'm very happy with the hop schedule, so, uh, since there's not really time to re-brew this one, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it looks pretty, and it has a nice backbone. We'll see when it gets uh, carbonated. And so, um, it was a good trip. Uh, a lot of different stuff, and I shot a little bit of video at Jared's, and I'll probably do a homebrew Wednesday on just uh, the visit to Heavy Rift Beer. Um, I also shot... Uh, I shot a little bit of video on the Anheuser-Busch tour. I'll probably do a Homebrew Wednesday on the Anheuser-Busch tour. Like I said, uh, their system is very streamlined and very impressive. Um, massive, of course, too, and ancient. But uh, And so even if you're not a huge fan of their beers, although I'll drink them, and I found enough to drink during uh, my samples at the end of the tour to, uh, to keep myself happy. Uh, my wife found a couple she liked, and we had to pick some up. Uh, I actually took my buddy and his wife, and my wife all went on this vacation with me, and the other three, none of them are beer drinkers, and I had them drinking beer almost every day, finding something they liked. So I was very, very proud of that. 
Um, and, and I'll definitely do an entire homebrew Wednesday on the uh, Three Floyds. And uh, I had had their zombie dust in the past, and it's not currently available. But I had some Alpha King and some Pride and Joy and some Gumball Head and some Robert to Bruce. And uh, so very very excited to see what the footage looks like I haven't looked at any of the video footage from any of the the different things um, back to the the one that's bottle conditioning uh, I don't know the, the, the partial bottle uh, I was very unimpressed with I only even opened it just to see what kind of carbonation we had and it's not there yet I use those carbonation drops so I know it takes takes a little extra time and I'll probably give it another week before I even try it um, uh, that one tasted a little sweet, but then again, it, you know, that was too much priming sugar for that amount of, of beer. And so we'll see how the others do. Hopefully taking some of that sweet out will help. It has a nice malt backbone, um, but don't know yet. Don't know exactly how that's going to, going to come out for me. And so, um, have to work on that. Um, also have to, uh, see about the hop schedule. Like I said, I think uh, when the whole switching to a different size batch just at the last shot to brew it uh, was a bad idea. I should have just done a five gallon batch um, and then just bottled two gallons of it. And so we'll see. I, it certainly didn't have the hop in the nose at the moment. Um, and I can't imagine that's going to get better. But we will wait a week and we will see what that comes out as. Um, and in the end, it may be a really nice red that we just created, uh, and we'll just go have to back, go back and, uh, do something else. Um, and if it doesn't end up going to competition, it doesn't end up going to competition. Uh, I can live with that. Like I said, it's good beer. Um, I haven't had a flawed beer in, in a, you know, in a while. And so it's not, it's not that it came out wrong as far as it doesn't have you know diacetyls it didn't ferment too hot it didn't you know oxygenate blah 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 but uh and it's nice and clear and it's a gorgeous color we'll uh, we'll just have to see Oof, we should have stayed where there was a little more light to wrap this up but um and so actually let me give a little bit of light there so yeah, that's that's kind of this week's Homebrew Wednesday. Like I said, I wanted to be reasonably short. Um, I'll sh see what's up uh, with that one and kind of give you an update on that. But probably that's the next three weeks worth of Homebrew Wednesdays, I would think. It will all come from that trip. Um, Going to maybe look to do a cast here in the near future. Um, Jared's Brewery is amazing gorgeous and uh and the pictures are neat but when he's open i strongly suggest you find a way to get to st louis because it's really it's it's a huge space and it's gorgeous and it's really hard to to get the full feel of it in the pictures you really got to be sitting there and so uh cheers 17